Okay, this is a demonstration video for the Anatec Catamaran Deluxe Bait Boat with Hardwired Hummingbird RF15 Fish Finder. Now what makes this boat special from others, it's just absolutely packed full of features. Uh, the build quality is solid plastic mould, it really is a decent solid boat. Now all the electronic equipment, including the handset, the receiver, the speedos, servos, all from a company called Grautner in Germany. This is expensive stuff, these handsets alone are worth £250, so it's pretty pricey stuff. You do get a two year parts warranty uh, with, with all the Grautner parts and with the boat as well. Now there's loads of features on the boat, the best one probably being, uh, literally, undo these with your fingers, Less than 10 seconds, pop the lid off the boat. Now that exposes all the inside of the boat. You've got the main brains of the boat under here, uh, which you never really need to take this off, but if you do, just two screws pop, um, does that there. And you've got two fuses each side, one for each motor, so if the fuses did ever get caught up in line or, or anything like that, it won't blow the motors, it just blows the little car fuses, which are 20 feet by. Now you've got all the brains under there, like I said, but just don't really need to get into that. You've got emergency backup battery system at the front. That's an excellent little feature. That basically means if the boat power dies when out on the lake, uh, to bring it back in, just flick that switch. The main boat batteries, if they're flat, they've cut into that and it gives the boat 10 minutes running time to bring the boat back in. Now these are the two main boat batteries here, two 6 volt, 12 amp batteries. It gives the boat a running time of up to two hours, which is pretty good for a big boat anyway. Uh, I've never actually come across anyone yet, is there ever, ever a need to use an emergency backup battery, but it's handy that it's there. Now you've got these uh, two tubes, these basically are linked to the bearings just by the motors. Beginning of every session, it do, does come with a free grease can, just a quick spurt, quick spurt, just for a second, and it lubes up the motors basically. You can actually hear the boat running smoother as well. In the long run, it'll make your boat last a hell of a lot longer, many, many years. Now, another excellent feature. First of all, turn on the handset, same with any radio control gear, then the boat. You've got the two hoppers. Now, the hoppers can hold up to three and a half kilos of bait. Uh, we're currently working on, on an extended hopper system to hold hopefully five, six kilos. The servos can resist up to five. Um, now you've got, the, as you can see, independent hoppers, and on the handset, the two knobs. And you've got the knobs on the left for the left hopper, and the one on the right for the right hopper. And you can open the, and slowly close these at your own speed, so you can scatter your bait around an area just as you wish. Now another excellent feature, you've got a little line clip feature on the back of the boat here. Now if you imagine this, uh, this line's coming from the end of your rod. You just pass, put your swivel straight onto that tube. Your lid hangs down. Your rig. Obviously with your bait on it, we just go straight onto this magnet there. So I wouldn't use a running lead, otherwise that would just run straight down, so you do need the safety clips on. And this is a line coming from the end of your rod. Put this little rubber cap on, pile your bait in there, take your boat out. Now don't start spinning the boat on the point when you're taking out any line, that goes for any boat, otherwise you just end up getting caught up and wrapped around the boat. Go out in a straight line, find your spot, and then with the handset, you just release that, drops it in the water. I'll show you again, it's fairly straightforward to, uh, to do. Straight on like so, rubber, stop on. Now this is your line coming from the end of your rod, your rig, onto there. Take it straight out, find a spot, release. And then what you can do with your two hoppers here, just slowly start scattering your bait around an area, move the boat around a bit further, scatter it around. This will hopefully attract more fish to your swim as you've scattered your bait around a larger area. Right, now we'll stick the lid on the back on the boat and take her out. You've got the, uh, this is the fish finder switch, which is internally hardwired. There's a little battery pack here that holds two AA batteries, which will power the fish finder for literally many months inside, so it doesn't run off the boat batteries at all inside the boat. So you flick the fish finder on. Now on the front of the boat, you've got six super bright white LED lights and two red LED lights at the back. These are controlled uh, from this switch on the handset. Just flick that on, off, on, off. Now the actual movement of the boat is fairly straightforward. This is the left motor, that's the right motor. You want to go forward, you push it forward, you want to go back, you go back. To spin on the point, you literally just turn like so. It's this straightforward to use. Right, the hummingbird fish finder we have here, 
It's got an excellent bank stick connection, so it makes it hands-free, so you're not trying to hold it with one hand. Turn it on, and instantly that should pick up the signal. As you can see, there's got many features on this. You can go through to all the certain settings, etc. Um, but this is on the best structure ID at the moment. It's shown there, it's a very silty bottom as it's quite a fluffy line. If that was a direct hard line, that would mean it's real like hard clay or hard gravel at the bottom. It's showing it's three foot. Uh, that can be changed towards meters as well. And it's 62 Fahrenheit in temperature. Now that we've had extended aerials put onto the handsets, it'll either be like so on the back there or another aerial coming out the back of the screen. And because the boat's been modified to the fish finder on there, you're talking comfortable 100 meter range. People have even said 140 meters. But to be honest, over 140 meters, you couldn't even see the bait boat anyway. Now we'll take it out. As you can see from the handset. Forward. If you want to just turn it to the left, just ease off on the left motor. More of a sharp, spin it back. There you go. And if you want to turn it to the right, literally like so, and to spin it on the point. They're straightforward. We'll flick the lights on. So you can see now they're quite bright LED lights at night. Right, the boat's now, now going at full speed, which for a big boat is pretty fast. We are working on speed race motors hopefully as well, which will make the boat even faster. It's a 1500 yard range on the boat, which is ample really, as I mean, no one will ever fish above 200 meters. Got the rear LED lights there. Now this boat has been tested out at sea and soon we will we'll be doing a demo video of it out at sea, but literally it will jump the waves, so it's an unsinkable boat. If you want to just come back to the fish finder, as well as you can see, five feet deep, a small bit of a gully to come across. We're just going across, across the lake. It's coming up slightly shallower here now, as you can see, and it's just in climbing. Now this is an old pit, and we know there's no fish in here, so there won't be any fish popping up on the screen. But if you do fish the lakes, the larger fish do actually pop up, and they show you how far they are actually from the bottom of the lake as well, which is perfect for if you're fishing zig rigs. So you can just set your zig rigs to the right, the right height. I'll just show you the two hoppers opening and closing on the bank here. There you go. The Anatec is also available with the FC80 hardwired fish finder, but to be honest, the Hummingbird is pretty much unbeatable. Uh, you get a full year warranty on all the Anatec products and two year on the boat parts as well, we're that confident with the boat parts. Also keep an eye out for a, another demo video we're doing with a Sony Color Night Vision CCD camera attached to the front which can also tilt down into the lake um, and you'll be able to see your bait drop underneath here as well, that's an excellent bit of kit as well as the Hummingbird Color 778CX fish finder which is going to be, be out there soon. Anatec Catamaran Deluxe Bay Boat.